Hello, my friends, and welcome back. As probably some of you know, the former U.S. Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, died this week. I will start by saying that uh, I do not feel any sorrow and pain for that. Uh, I think she was a very crude war criminal and I think that uh, she um, did not really care about humans in general. Um, I will uh, read a little article about her and I will point out certain things regarding her um, life and achievements or lack of and some uh, controversies. So let's see, we start with uh, the article first and it's an uh, article from The Insider published on March 25th, 2022 by Tom Porter, Porter, Porter. It says Madeleine Albright in her final op-ed described Putin as small and pale and almost reptilian. reptilian. It says that Madeleine Albright recalled her first meeting with Vladimir Putin in her final op-ed. She described the Russian president as so cold as to be almost reptilian. Well, okay. Well, uh, it says here that, uh, and I'm quoting, uh, he, um, it says here that M Madeleine Albright was saying that um, she, was meet, she met uh, Vladimir Putin, Putin in 2000 and uh, she said that he had just taken over from Boris Yeltsin as Russia's leader and was acting president. At the time, Albright was President Bill Clinton, Secretary of State, sitting across, and I'm quoting what she said, sitting across a small table from him in the Kremlin, I was immediately struck by the contrast between Mr. Putin and his bombastic predecessor, Boris Yeltsin, recalled Albright. Flying home, I recorded my impressions. Putin is a small and pale, I wrote, so-called as to be almost reptilian. Now, we should, um, we should, uh, I should note that I heard a lot, a lot of American um, um, politicians uh, calling uh, other p world politicians uh, names or, uh, or describing their physical, uh, peculiarities, I would say, or physical appearance in very negative terms, very un, um, um, un undiplomatic, even in private, and hot microphones, in front of the media, in front of audiences, and uh, you can check uh, how this woman, uh, her impression of Putin is all exterior not interior as a human being. Remember Martin Luther King that I have a dream that the children of these nations will be uh, well, uh, penalized or whatever by the content of their uh, skin, <laughs> by the content of their character, not of their content or their appearance and so on. So obviously she did not learn anything. But what do you expect? I will talk about why you should not expect from this woman anything. Or well, not anything, but not not, mu not much positive. And you have, for instance, uh, uh, Joe Biden, who called publicly, publicly uh, without evidence, that Vladimir Putin Putin is a criminal, a murderer, a war criminal, this and that. And you have other politicians who uh, used uh, bur bad terms, on without supporting their claims. I would like, I would challenge you to find, uh, for instance, uh, Foreign Minister uh, Sergei Lavrov, or let's say, or let's say, uh, uh, Dmitry Peskov, the Kremlin's uh, advisor, or um, President Vladimir Putin, or um, uh, the, the 
the Russian spokesman, um, I can't remember her name right now, uh, using these kind of terms to uh, language to describe another politician, another head of state. And that tells you the level of, or uh, it's just, mm, it's just a low, very low standard of behavior. Uh, now, Madeleine Albright was Secretary of State, United States. She was the first female Secretary of State. And she was the first, uh, how should I put it? I know, I don't know if that's politically correct or not, if it's the English term, but she was a Jewess, 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 or a Jew, the first Jew as a Secretary of, Secretary of State. Oh, no, she wasn't. <laughs> we have Kissinger. He was the first uh, Jew uh, Secretary of State, United States. And then she, well, it's very curious, very strange. The Jews are what? 1% of the U.S. population? And there you go. Two Secretary of State. I want to see how many uh, uh, African Americans were Secretary of State. And they're like, what? 12%? Or how many Native Americans? More than 1%. How many uh, Latinos? How many, I don't know, Romanians? So, I don't know. But don't try to stereotype. Well, and nevertheless, she got that position. She was born in Czechoslovakia. And uh, uh, came, her parents came from Czechoslovakia. Um, she was an American diplomat, I'm reading here. And uh, it says here that Albright immigrated with her family to the United States in 1948. Yes, so she immigrated and she was born in 37. Yeah, and yeah. So yes, she was born in Czechoslovakia, in Prague, and she immigrated with her family. Um, I don't care about that much. I will just uh, analyze some controversies regarding this Secretary of State. And uh, for people who don't remember, uh, she uh, was involved in two main uh, uh, illegal bombings and destroyed two countries and destabilized two uh, regions. One is Iraq and the other one is Yugoslavia. Now in Iraq, she, um, uh, there were some sanctions imposed in, uh, uh, on Iraq, economic sanctions like they're imposed right now on Russia, and, uh, and approximately uh, 500,000 uh, Iraqi children starved to death due to those uh, uh, sanctions. And there's a 60-minute uh, infamous uh, interview that she... Um, she participated and uh, says here that uh, on May 12, 1996, then Ambassador Albright defended UN sanctions against Iraq on a 60 minutes segment in which uh, Leslie Stahl asked her, we have heard that half a million children have died. I mean, that's more children than died in Hiroshima. And you know, it's, is, is the price worth it? And Albright replied, we think the price is worth it. The segment won an Emmy Award. And then it says here that uh, uh, they try here to make it sound like all that was, uh, actually it was not half of a million people and so on. But it doesn't matter how many there were. The fact, because they say, actually it was just propaganda, it was not half of a million, it was this and that. She agreed that she didn't give a damn about Half of million, if that would have been the case, half a million of children. So if you would say 50 million of children, she would have said the same thing. So if you say, oh, it was not uh, uh, 500,000 children who died of starvation and so on. That was her answer for that thing. Regardless if that's true, it's like someone would ask me, Emil, would you agree to, uh, I don't know, burn half of uh, that kind of population? I say, uh, who, uh, I don't know, they don't like you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. And then I say, well, I mean, that was just a joke. Ah, <laughs> I was just joking too. No, you weren't. You would have done that, but you didn't know it was a joke. And you seriously would have done that. That tells you that you would have done it regardless of that, if that was true. So regardless if there were three children dead or none, the fact that she would have agreed to that scenario that was presented to her as a fact, that tells me that she was... She was going to that extent. It didn't matter. 
for that human being. That human being. So that's one thing about this Madeleine Albright and now we're gonna see her in uh, all the newspapers and everybody's gonna say how great she was. And then it says here, the other, the other controversy was here that uh, uh, it was a, uh, uh, she called the Serbs various names and I will tell you what she said here. It says here that, uh, uh, it says that Albright was visited by a group of activists from the Czech organization Pratele Srbu na Kosovo, Friends of Serbs in Kosovo. She was filmed, she was filmed saying, disgusting Serbs get out to the Czech group, which had brought war uh, photos to the signing, some of which showed Serbian victims of Kosovo war in 1999. The protesters were expelled from the event when police arrived. So disgusting Serbs get out. That's the Madeleine Albright, the lover of the people. people. So it was, uh, she was, you know, with a NATO bombing of Serbia was the main cause of the demonstration. It's a different thing with Kosovo. She, um, she did some hanky-panky uh, business in uh, Serbia. And uh, uh, she even uh, campaigned for the, for the women's rights, if you put it that way. And I'm going to say what she said. She says, uh, at a campaign event in New Hampshire, Hampshire, ahead of the state's primary, Albert said, there is a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. A phrase Albert, Al Albright, Albright, Albright had used on several previous occasions in other contexts. Uh, and then uh, it says here that... Uh, in a New York Times op-ed published several uh, days after the remark, Albright said, I absolutely believe in that, what I said. I, all, all, what I said, that women should help one another, uh, but this was the wrong context. What the wrong context? Imagine that I would say this. So there's a special place in hell for men who don't help other men. Right? how I would be called misogynistic, uh, patriarchal, whatever I'm going to be called. Bad names, bad names, but I don't care. I think you support value. I don't care if it's a man, uh, small, little people, uh, fat people, thin people, whatever people. It doesn't matter. Quality. Quality of actions, of character. Not, you know, but there she is the Secretary of State of the United States of America. Fantastic. Then she had another thing here where her family, um, allegedly uh, her, her father, uh, uh, I think it was uh, one of her family members stole some uh, paintings when he was in Prague from uh, some, uh, I think, German-speaking, whatever, uh, industrialist aband abandoned some of his possession in his apartment where ethnic Germans were expelled from the country's country after the World War II under the Banish decrees. His apartment, blah blah blah. And then you have uh, Madeleine Albright's relatives who took those uh, possessions and uh, then they said, No, it's not true, we just found them. Yeah, okay. So this is like you would say, you know, when the Jews were expelled from uh, Germany and they left behind. Uh, houses and so on and then when they came back and said well though that's my property because it was taken uh, by the Nazis illegally from my family which is correct I agree with that it was your property forcefully you were kicked out a lot of them were paid money not enough money that's true and they were forced forced out they got out after the Nazis they came back and they said well that's my house yes that's correct that's your house if you acquired that house in a legal way that's your house so the same with these guys. They had to leave, blah, blah, blah. And then when, no, 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 that's, that, that's not your paintings. You left them over there. It, I just found them on the street, you know what I mean? Just entered your property and got it. So this is for you, Madeline Albright. So no tears here ever for this person. And I knew this since Yugoslavia. I knew that since uh, when, uh, when she said that, uh, when she was for Yugoslavia bombing and so on. So, just so you know the other side of the story or the coin, like I made a video with uh, Gandhi, uh, Mandela, 
and uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Reverend, PhD, Laureate of blah, 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 okay? So all those guys have very, very dark sides that we don't, are not thought about, that they don't tell us, because it doesn't fit the narrative. The same with this uh, evil, evil, evil woman. Well, uh, be strong, be smart, look for the truth, and uh, be just. See ya. Ciao.